12 plus 12 plus 12. Is that going to give you the inside or is that going to give you the fence around? And can you tell me what fraction that is? Can you give me an equivalent fraction for one half? One of the big misconceptions about standards is that standards tell teachers how to teach students the content. Standards just basically list the, the content that the student needs to learn and it's up to the teacher, the district, the teams to decide how best to teach the students to meet those goals. Once standards are in place and we've been teaching the students, it's important to find out how well we're doing. Are, are we teaching in a way that will help these kids meet those goals that have been set for them? Assessments is one way to do that. And the nice thing about the New York State assessments is that once the students have taken them, we can take the data and we can compare ourselves to different groups. We can compare ourselves to students within our county. We can compare ourselves across the state just to really see our, our we really helping these kids move forward and meet these goals along their path. The test scoring team at the Regional Information Center works with numerous school districts throughout several counties. Not only does the team provide support to 50 public districts, there are 30 non-public and private locations that receive support as well. Last year, the team processed over 120,000 answer sheets for New York State assessments. With over 40 years of experience, the test scoring team has a great understanding of the needs of the school districts. A lot of people hear the word data and they think that it's crunching numbers and some people may think mm, I'm not inclined to do that where others are excited about that. And what I try to communicate to districts and when I'm working with administrative teams, teacher teams, is that when we have good conversation about data, it's less about looking at numbers and crunching those numbers and it's more about having a starting point for good conversation that's going to lead to work that's going to improve instruction and improve student learning in the school. classroom teacher, um, it really is wonderful for us to be able to have our ELA and math learning teams in our district because these teams allow us to look at the data each year and see how our students have got done. For example, we celebrate the successes, how the students did with specific standards, and then we also look at areas where maybe we could do better at. And by doing so, it really gives us a chance to either adjust instruction or make the necessary changes um, to improve upon our teaching. So here in, uh, in our district, uh, we do not consider the ELA or math assessments to be high stake assessments. Um, we use the data to um, look at our children as a whole. It's a piece of the child. There's all sorts of different data points that we look at and the state assessments are just one more piece of data that we have. Many changes have been made to the New York State testing program since Commissioner Elia came on board with the New York State Education Department. These changes have been implemented with the intent to make things easier for our students. Here's what you can expect this year. The number of testing sessions has been reduced from three to two for both ELA and math. The total number of questions on each assessment has been reduced. This will allow students to take fewer questions and to have more time to complete their answers. In math, the number of three-point questions will be reduced from three to one. Three-point questions 
typically asks students to problem solve showing multi-step processes. So students will have fewer of these questions to complete. This year, the test will include questions written by New York State teachers. This is very exciting as previously the questions had been written by non-educators or by testing companies. In ELA, only authentic texts will be used. Authentic texts refer to pieces of literature or nonfiction that students would actually see in the real world. So we won't have any contrived stories written just for testing purposes. Once again this year, the tests will not be timed. As long as students are working productively, they can take as much time as they need to finish the exams. The results of the tests will not be tied to official teacher performance ratings this year. There is a transition period in effect in our annual professional performance review process. That means that teachers will again have transition scores not tied to the New York State testing program. I think it's crucial that we inform parents as well as students that this is just one piece of the puzzle. You know, students are going to have to take tests all through life and they need to understand that this is just one part and that it's really not that big of a deal. I do feel that my students, I do not see the stress. I just express to them the importance of just trying their best and that this is a tool to help me become a better instructor for them and the students that I have in the future. Thank you.